This is a video of my Citadel 1911. It's a 1911 FSA1 that I bought on on uh, Guns America. Uh, retail price about six hundred dollars. I paid about four sixty nine, uh, five hundred with shipping. Good gun. I like it. It's had some issues. <clears throat> this is a video I'm sending to uh, Arms Corps again because I'm having another problem with it that they just fix. If you see here. Yeah, it's um, loaded. Chamber check. I can't do it right now. But here's one of the problems I'm having with this gun right now. It is when you cock it. And I will do one chamber check. Hold on. Okay, that's clear. When you cock it, one of the things I don't like is you can do is this. You can push the hammer back. And it'll engage the beaver toe. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can push the beaver toe. Okay, it will not fire. Okay, now it won't fire. But if you hold that in, it does fire. It's fine. It's the way it's supposed to work. But this is the other part because I have another 1911 and it doesn't do this. Is that when you push this in, see, it's engaging the beaver tail, which is then letting the hammer fall. That's something that's not supposed to happen. Again, it comes with these other magazines. These are Act Mags. Um, they look real pretty. Uh, they're made by in Italy, you know, a Medgar or something, I don't know, but they're Act Mags. These mags suck. You know, these magazines, I can. Uh, no matter what, I tried changing out the springs in them, put back the factory originals, still have problems with them. Um, as far as racking a slide on eight rounds, it will, it's gotten better, but it still is nose diving or it's, it's jamming all together right in the feed ramp. Uh, with my Chip McCormick magazines, I'm not having that problem. And with uh, uh, my Power Ordinance 19 magazines, I'm not having that problem. I did send this back last time and they on accident or courtesy sent me back one of these magazines inside the gun and the thing is on that magazine they sent me zoom in here it doesn't say uh act mag uh, right there at the bottom it's to say act mag instead of saying act mag it says uh arms core which is like different because they have nighthawk different brands use that design and that makes pretty much the same function functional platform to build their <coughs> magazines well that uh the one they sent me with that has the marking arm score i don't know if the spring is better on that one because that one works almost flawlessly i can cycle the the i can pull the the slide back real slow let the bullet just slide in just like i can with all my other magazines with these two nothing but trouble so i want these replaced as well so this video goes search two purposes one put on youtube to to uh also to uh let arm score know i'm sending this to them on uh, what problems I'm having. A couple features I have in the gun. I uh, put a magwell on there for Fusion Firearms. 19 uh, VZ grips, or the grips. Put this uh, Wilson Combat front strap. Great texturing. Paint of the sights, kind of a little glock thing there. It's pretty cool. It's like a glock style. Uh, since I've done this, I've been able to hit bullseyes with this thing. Not consistent, you know. I'm not. The greatest shooter but i definitely can hit bullseyes with this on it you know on and off uh, more consistency <clears throat> i took away the ambidextrous safety and uh put a single safety and let's see here I also put a, a fitted this i fitted this uh barrel bushing it's chamfered real nice I had to fit it and I was pretty proud of myself because you had to sit there with the file and just start shaving the hell out of the, off the cylinder, cylinder part that goes in there to get it to fit. It took about 45 minutes and it finally fit in. Little finishing touches on it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Also replaced the, what are they called, the, the guide rod um, plug there too. 
with stainless. And this is pretty cool. It's that chain link style deal on the back. Uh, one of the other things I did is I did fill this in. Kind of looks neat with paint. It's alright. It's, it's going to come into focus. Um, I tell you, the roll mark on these are kind of weak. It's the sunlight's hidden, so you can see it. But I wish it would be more in depth, more stamped. It did have a three prong trigger when I first got it. Um, they did some work on it because supposedly the hammer hooks were weren't where they needed to be. So they did take it and fix that. Got it down to about a four and a half pound trigger, which I'm very much more happy with because the other one you could hiccup and this thing would go bang. And uh, she replaced all the pins internally with uh, Wilson Combat leaf springs, all the little springs and pins have all been replaced as well. Let's see. And. Pretty much what does it. It's a great gun. You know, I like customizing it. I'm having fun with it. I actually want to get it dehorned. I'll get all the little burrs off it because she did. kind of sharp. These are sharp. I mean, they're cool, but then after a while, you're like, yeah, I'd like to get that dehorned. Like right around there, too. That is sharp. These edges on the on there are kind of sharp there. And uh, I will tell you this, though. Let me show you something. Arms court. Their technician, Sean, did, I can't really I'm get that in line, but did an awesome job um, doing a polish, throat, feet around polish job on that. I don't think I'm going to pick it up in the line. I'll do another video later about that one. But I was really impressed. Good job from Arms Corp and their master gunsmith, Sean. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. If you have any questions, uh, please um, just, uh, post something on the comments. Thank you much. Take it easy later.